Welcome to the second update of today and today we're going to discuss Cardano because Cardano is still going great and it's the future, it's saving everyone for Corona and it's valued at around 100 billion, making massive smart contracts, tons of projects and launching on Cardano, that's why we have to discuss it and that's why this valuation is absolutely normal. So we're discussing Cardano today. <coughs> um as it's moving again but there is a tricky daily candle coming up today and i just wanted to repeat the way you want to trade and we're going to discuss litecoin once again but before that do not forget to subscribe beneath and like the youtube update and also do not forget to check out our platform in the description beneath where you can trade alongside me get trade ids educational content and fundamental content as well Discussing Cardano means that you have to be bullish given that everyone is holding Cardano at this point. So um, when we're looking at the chart in this structure, we are looking at a fact where we have been discussing and covering Cardano during the past weeks. This means that levels that you want to take an entry are based on historical price action. So you're taking order blocks support resistance flips these two you're taking as reference points for your own trades this means that if you want to buy cardano right now the chances of a significant drop and drawdown on your entry based on the daily time frame is massive this means that it can easily correct 25 to 30 percent and still be bullish but you have been going down 25 percent while potentially a better entry is granted on those lower levels so when we are looking at cardano the first level was determined around two dollars fifty that level was flipped for support gave a new entry and we can see that we had a bullish impulse but we do have this wick which means that we might potentially have sellers on board through which a potential correction could be happening also, when you draw the Fibonacci extension tool, you can get towards the levels where you want to establish next take profit levels, which is one, the previous low zero, and you get towards the take profit area, which is around this green zone. So if the daily closes beneath this level of the daily candles that we have around 293 here, we might be assuming that we get a retest on those lows. So when you're going to take the entry here and you want to take a corrective and we're going to get a corrective move or you want to make a stop loss in your trade, you place your stop loss here in this region. The downwards fall from that perspective is about 20% to 25%. So in order to become, uh, to make it a profitable trade, you have to target a risk reward ratio of 3 to 1. Meaning that if the downwards fall is about 25%, you at least have to target 75% increase to make this a valid trade. And that is not the case at this, at this time, especially given the strength on Cardano, and especially given that um, everyone is already long on Cardano, so the actual pain is on the downside. Does it mean that Cardano can't keep on running? It can, it can, but you have to wait or look for levels that are interesting to watch in order to actually take the entry. New level that we have here around $2.75, but I would be looking around $2.45. And second, I would be looking around the area that we have around two bucks. These three zones are entry zones for Cardano, through which that's the first one is a very aggressive approach for potential entries. The second one is the one where you want to start scaling into entries. And the second one is around two bucks. What is the next target zone for Cardano based on the impulse waves? Well, obviously you can use the Fibonacci extension based on the previous impulse wave through which you can target $4.75 and $6.18. You can also do it on a base, on a, based on the recent run and then you get to $4.40 and $6.50. Is Cardano done with running at this point? I don't believe that it is, but it shows that we might be getting such a corrective move at this point, given the fact that also the daily on the Bitcoin pair is not really granting any strength at all. So the scenario that we have here is showing us a potential corrective move where I want to become interested, knowing that on the 12th of September, we've got a launch, which might be a buy the rumor, sell the news concept, but also 
every big impulse wave retraces. So when you're looking at such a retrace, you're going to look at those levels that are important to watch based on historical price action. <clears throat> so in this case, the levels that you're going to watch is the previous high around 5,000 sets and the second level that we have around 4,300 sets. These two zones are for me a point of interest for Cardano to take any entry. When we're looking at the Bitcoin pair, it's quite vertical. So I'm going to look at entry points in those regions, assuming that we still have one impulse wave to go. If you want to invest in Cardano, I think you still want to have some patience on the entries overall, especially given that there will be, or the chances of a bear market next year are going to in get, are increasing heavily the more that the market goes vertical. So this scenario is still standing for me on Cardano. And when we're looking at altcoins, there's still many altcoins ready to run. We've discussed it earlier today. Cardano showed strength and it consolidated here beneath resistance and overshot to the upside and already made new highs. Litecoin, for instance, is still stuck at that level and didn't really break to the upside yet, meaning that once it breaks the level around $188, we could be seeing strength towards 280 to 300 bucks as there is nothing in between given the fact that we just have a big gap here meaning that there are no real resistances in between except for the fact that we still have a high here at 240 bucks so when you're looking at altcoins that have some serious potential at this point and didn't really make new all-time highs you're going to get into DeFi, you're going to get into layer 1, layer 2s, but also dino coins like Litecoin, XRP and XLM. I hope you have enjoyed this update. Can Cardano go to 5 bucks? It's still on the tables, but I wouldn't be entering at this point. I hope you have a wonderful day and I'll see you again tomorrow for some fresh new updates.